This is Captain America, the first Avenger movie series, Marvel's Hydra Attack Trooper. The figure is part of the fourth wave of 3.75 inch figures from the movie toy, the Captain America movie toy line. Start with the packaging. It says comes with a missile launcher. It is figure number 15. Here is the rest of the assortment. Some are just repacks. You've seen my review of this one. Uh, firing missile. Whoopee. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> it is... It's a good figure, actually. I'm very pleased with it. If, uh... If you've seen this on the pegs and you want to scrutinize it some more and want to get the best value for your money, Paint apps are very good except for the head as always. Make sure that the stripes are painted very well as you can see on mine. There's some misaligned silver paint, but good enough. Uh, also, you, you want to check out how the uh, pink uh, uh, sort of, yeah, the metallic pink has been painted on his uh, goggles. And make sure that the green uh, is part of his helmet, I, I suppose, or outfit. Uh, is painted evenly on top of the bridge of his nose and make sure that the flesh is, is painted well enough that it doesn't overlap with the green on his helmet. Other than that, everything about this figure is just painted very well. Very little complaints in terms of paint apps. Um, <clears throat> the figure itself is a repaint or a, uh, a retool of uh, the... Uh, Wave 3 Hydra Armored Trooper. And uh, the only difference really is the uh, the weapon that they gave him and the head sculpt for obvious reasons. As you can see, this one is a lot more... I think the helmet is a lot more uh, battle armored than this one. This one is more for, I think, for stealth. <laughs> or just, I think this is the regular regular issue helmet and this one is like the... Uh, armored version. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. Once I do see the movie, it'll probably be clear. They've given him actually a smaller gun or rifle, whatever. This one is a bigger version. Uh, this one is taken from the red skull. This one is actually a new sculpted weapon. They do still share this big ass gun that has a firing missile or rocket that fires very well. So I'm not going to show it because I've shown it in the other review. Uh, exactly the same one as this one. I think it just has some lighter paint apps on the handle. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Oh, sorry, they've also changed the... Oh, interesting. They've also changed the paint. Excuse me. They've also changed the paint on the, uh, on the uniform. As you can see, they've got stripes up to his pants. This one does not have stripes. Uh, this is, I think, a lighter shade of green. Oh no, it's almost the same. Uh, yeah, practically the same. Sorry, my bad. Exactly the same uniform, same plastic, except they missed out on the stripe. On the... I don't think it's a an error. I think they actually designed it that way. Uh, that there would be no red stripe on it. That's pretty cool. A uh, bit of a difference. So if you're army building, this is an interesting figure to get, just to differentiate your troops. Okay, <clears throat> articulation, it's got the same articulation as this guy. Uh, come on, he's not standing up. He was standing up a while ago. Okay, same articulation, ball jointed neck, ball hinge shoulders, ball jointed upper torso, ball hinge elbows, sole wrist, ball hinge hips, uh, thigh swivel, double hinge knees, ball hinge ankle. And for those of you asking, does he have these weak knee joints? Absolutely. Hasbro has not figured out how to do how to fix that. Very weak knee joints. But what can you do, right? Okay. Now this figure comes with a variant. I'm sure a lot of you already been at are probably just itching to ask that in the comment section below. There is a variant. Uh, yeah, this is a variant because they share the same packaging, as you can see. It uses the this guy's packaging as well, and it's uh, same figure number, figure number 15, but 
it's colored differently in a very kooky kind of way, very comic, comic, comic-ish uh, type of colors in the light green and uh, very vibrant, very bright yellow with uh, very uh, electric blue, all spark blue color on his goggles. Uh, kind of corny if you're not familiar with a comic book, but uh, this guy was actually inspired by, yeah, it's a, sort of like a comic version. Uh, if you have the Marvel Universe Hydra Soldier from the Henchmen and Soldiers 3-pack, uh, he's, the colors have been inspired uh, by, I suppose, this figure. So that's pretty interesting. It's sort of trying to get, without actually coming up with a comic series line, or a comic series uh, Hydra Soldier, they've sort of managed to come up with one by just having a variant for the movie series uh, Wave 4 Hydra Soldier. That's pretty cool. And if uh, you, you've, you've been collecting the old 6-inch figures, you know that this figure also gets its inspiration from the classic-looking Hydra Soldier. Uh, this is the, this is from the uh, Marvel Legends build a figure wave, the Blob wave, I think, and uh, yeah, that one's a classic version. This one is, I think, the more modern version. This is the sort of movie adaptation. So there, God, he's not standing up. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Anyway, okay. So quite a bunch of Hydra soldiers. Uh, is this guy still worthy of picking up? Even if you've had already a ton of more of Hydra soldiers, I say yes. He's a good army building figure, a well sculpted figure. The the bodies of is a good sculpt. I like all the details on it, and the the new head sculpt is really really nice. So if you're a big army builder, big fan of the Hydra soldier, Hydra troopers, big Captain America fan, I highly recommend you pick up this figure. If you could care less about these soldiers and, you know, you just want the Captain America figures, uh, you can go ahead and pass. So there you go, folks. Uh, just a my little review of the latest Hydra soldier. Uh, let's just put this guy in, in, the, in the frame just for fun. Yeah. Okay, so bunch of Hydra soldiers. Uh, so there you go, folks. Uh, really liked it. I like what Hasbro has done with with the Hydra soldier, and uh, I really wasn't expecting to pick up everything. I was only looking really to pick up this guy, but uh, really tempted, and I sort of caved in and got everybody. So there you go. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Found it very informative and insightful. If you want to know my latest toy purchases and upcoming reviews, please follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash fxfrans. There you go. The Captain America, the first Avenger, Marvel's Hydra Attack Trooper. It's a movie series figure from Wave 4. Thanks for watching.